Okay, so this plaque, we're looking at the level of pollution and using indicator species for it. For this, you should have to go out to a stream to collect the samples. Obviously, we're not going to go out into the stream, so we've bought the stream and made it here. So we've got our box of our water. So we've been to our stream and we've collected our sample of water. We've collected three litres of water and then we have different species in those three litres. Those species are represented just by laminated cards of different species available to you. In this investigation then we are changing the streams, that's our independent variable and then we are measuring the level of pollution by looking at the type of species that are living in the stream. If we are looking at a high polluted area we are going to find a lot of larvae and nematodes so our wormy looking species. If you've got medium pollution, we're gonna find a lot of animals that have got snails, beetles, and clams. If we then have a low polluted stream, we are looking at our mayfly larvae, etc. So more of our nicer looking bugs. So I've got my first sample. What I need to do then, using essentially because of them should be like animals, you are going to fish out three times three samples of our results. That's what I'm going to do now. So I'm going to collect one and I'm just going to place it on the lid. Okay. And then I'm going to do it three times to see what organisms we have living in this stream. Once I've done that, I'm gonna organize them. So I've got this organism, which is a indicator for high pollution. I've got our larvae, which is high pollution. Then I'm gonna organize them into whether they are in high, medium or low pollution. Oh, there we go. All of the species then that I have found from our first stream, all are species that live in high polluted areas where there's less oxygen available to them. So looking at our results, I could say for my sample that this stream has got a lot of pollution in it. I will then do the exact same method for my second stream and then compare the results. <laughs> them and looking at our results I actually had five organisms that were from medium pollution and four that were from low level pollution so looking at it this then is the inaccuracy what are like how, like how one inaccuracy because it's really really hard then to determine what is the pollution like what would you say because you've got some that like low polluted areas some that like medium pollution and then it's really, really hard to determine I would go for medium pollution because you've got the ones that are living there um, who like who prefer the low oxygen so I would class this stream as as medium pollution so that's how you can tell then which stream has got the most pollution another inaccuracy then is that it's hard to determine what species you have because some of these we have pictures that's going to be quite small organisms so really hard to see them and as they're going to be in your beaker they're going to be moving around so it's really really hard to determine what species you actually have and then there's a hazard and a risk then if you play with water and animals you could get bitten, etc. from them. So just be careful when handling the species when sampling them out. Also, if we'd gone down to a pond, um, you could well, slip in the water. Yeah, a big hazard is that you could have slipped in the water collecting the species. Bye.